All right, guys, so we just finished our splash screen, and we're going to start on our next video. And in this one, this is where we're going to actually start working with some actual video that we're going to be taking. Now, there's a couple ways that you can get video into After Effects. You can use Photo Booth, and just you can drag it in and just take video off your computer. You could use some of the iPads that we have and then airdrop them uh, to yourself and drag it in that way. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to just go ahead and use Photo Booth um, so that it makes it a little bit easier just to show what it is that we're doing. In the video that you saw, you, you noticed that there were some words on the screen, and then as we moved an object, it uh, hid the words as the object moved in front of it. So that's what we're going to show how to do here, um, how to actually make that. So I just have my coffee cup here, so I'm going to use that. And you may want to choose a different object, a different item, um, something that maybe represents your superhero, whatever the case may be. In this video, though, what you want to do is you want to have it say, maybe like starring your superhero's name or whatever the case may be, because we're going to compile these together. So we'll have the splash screen, and then it's going to say starring superhero's name, and then the object's going to move in front of it. It's going to hide it as it goes. Okay? So as you make your video, just be kind of uh, aware of that. So let me go ahead and just record a real short video. I don't want it to be too long here, but I'm going to record maybe you know, five to ten second video of my coffee cup moving in front of the screen. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, so seven seconds. So that's a perfect amount of time. So what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to click and drag that right into there. Oops, let me pause that. And I dragged my video right over here into this uh, project panel. And since I don't have a composition yet, I'm going to go ahead and just drag that video down here to the Create New Composition button. And I'm going to drop it on there, and it's going to show my video. Now, from here, what I need to do is go ahead and add some text. And so I'm going to go ahead and over here, I'm going to just write my name. And that's probably a good spot right there. You can see it pretty well. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to create a mask that's going to go over top and that's going to kind of cover up our cup. And then as we move the cup, it's going to go over and it's going to cover up my name. So before we create the mask, go ahead and click on your text that you did. You can click on it just at the bottom so it selects it. And then we want to click on the pen tool. When we click on the pen tool, what we're going to do then is we're going to just kind of go around our object that we want it to cover so that we create this mess. So I'm going to kind of just click and I'm going to really try to keep as many of the straight edges as possible. Um, really the main thing is that we just get the front edge of it. The back part of it's not such a big deal. You'll notice then that as soon as I completed my path, that my name went away. Now that's because these masks actually work in two different ways. And I'll show you how that works. So in this case, um, when I click on the down arrow next to my name and then I see there's mask and then mask one, right now inverted is not checks. Let me show you what would happen then. If I click on my mask and I drag it over, Right now, what it's set to do is only show what's inside of there. Okay, pretty cool. So right now, it's it's actually showing. So you could actually, when you make yours, if you wanted to, you could um, you can make it so that your text appears after the object moves past. If you want to do it that way, we're gonna just show how to make it actually disappear. So in this case, I want to check this box called inverted. And that's going to make that show up again. And now, if let me just kind of as I click and drag, you'll see that as it goes past, that it's going to hide it. Okay. Okay. So what we want to do before we move ahead, we want to set a um, 
a keyframe right here this part so this is our mask so this is our mask path so we're gonna click on that click a keyframe right there and then we're gonna go ahead and move ahead right until the coffee cup completely has covered up my name and at that point so what I want to do if I kinda click see right now how these are all squares if I kinda click inside of it it'll change it to circles and then I can click and I can just drag each individual point and so what I want to do is kind of come and cover up and really it's I just really need to make sure that my front edge is nice and sharp because that's the part that's going to cover up the name as it goes by You'll see then um, it's set a new keyframe here. And so as I scroll, it's going to kind of try to do it, but I didn't move at a very consistent speed apparently. So it maybe didn't do the best job of staying with it. So what we're going to have to do then is we're going to have to kind of go frame by frame, or maybe not even frame by frame. Maybe we can go a little bit, you know, um, more like as we transition so let's kind of just at this point you know here we are right we haven't started moving yet but it's already ahead so let's kind of move this back um, we may be able to just by changing a few points along the way we may be able to kind of get a, a better job so let's go right here right before it goes in front of my name and let's Let's get that point. And you can see each time I'm changing it that it's setting this keyframe. As I get a little bit further ahead, I can just kind of pull this out so that it lines up with it. I can kind of keep going and changing each of these. Maybe not totally important, but do that. Move ahead a little bit further. It's pretty much staying with it. Maybe as it starts to get a little off there, I'm going to drag that back, drag that one up a little bit, keep that right, try to keep it right on the cup as much as possible. Right. Oops, it gets way ahead there, so let me kind of go back again. So, you know, it's just a little bit of a, it's a little tedious but to make it have the right effect we got to make sure that we're doing it well kind of move that in like that it stays pretty well there it gets a little head so i'm going to move it back again it's too far ahead again so let's kind of just keep we'll keep moving it back so that it keeps pace. This gets a little bit off there. Pretty good overall. Now it's starting to get too far ahead because I must have been slowing down as I got towards the end of the video. All right, so we're getting close here. Keep going. And Right here at the end, it's just slightly off. So let's fix that one up. And then goes off screen, but we've already covered up our name. Okay, all right, so there you go. Not too hard actually, right? So let's go ahead and see what we've got. Let's click off of it. We'll hit enter. It's gonna kind of go a little slowly at first. Um, and then once it goes all the way through, it should keep playing why did they get stuck it's thinking because mm, I'm almost out of space okay so there we go and not too bad there may be a little bit of a <laughs> right in the middle right there as it was going across it kind of didn't do a great job but that's okay now 
Now, one other thing that we can add to this to kind of make it uh, fit a little bit better is underneath our mask, where it says mask feather, we can actually feather out our mask just a little bit so that it's maybe not so sharp, especially when it comes with dealing with text. And the only problem with that, though, is that it starts to make it a little bit off because it's feathered out. So what we can do then is we can expand our mask, maybe like, let's do like two, and kind of just makes it so that it has a little bit more of a feathered look to it. Eh, maybe I need to do a little bit more, a little less on the feathered. But that's kind of what that does is it expands. Let's see what we got here. Makes it not so harsh. And then finally we can also on our text maybe um, just add a little bit of a blur, like a Gaussian blur to it so that our text is not quite so sharp. And there you go. That's how you make a video that has some an object moving in front and then hiding the text as it goes by. So go ahead and you're going to work on creating your text and your video that hides your superhero's name as an object moves by.